Good day to you. Today is a great day of vision and the word. God is mobilizing his people. And what I saw was the Lord Jesus Christ, 12 years old, and he's in the temple in Jerusalem, and he's speaking the word, and he's saying, must I not be about my father's business? And he, he, even at that age, the zeal of the Lord's house consumed him. And we are those who, who have been consumed by the zeal of the Lord's house. And the call today is just as the father's generation were consumed by the zeal of the God's, Lord's house and consumed by the zeal of God's call, that there would be another generation as Deborah sends forth the cry that another generation will arise. And what I saw was also Moses and his people in pilgrimage to the wilderness. They went from pillar of fire to pillar of fire. I like to think like this, at 6 p.m. begins the pillar of fire. We plan our night prayers and we do our night family prayer times and we sleep under the pillar of fire. And in the night season, all what the Lord wants to do according to Job 29 and so on, and his intimacy like a flaming lamp is on our head and we sleep with God visions and we wake up and then begins the pillar cloud the cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night as Moses' people had. It was for them symbol, but for us it's in truth. Uh, and they were a pilgrim people. They took the Ark of the Covenant and they were led by the call of God. They were led by the voice of God. Let his glorious voice shall be heard. And in the mountain of the Lord it shall be heard. So we are, we are making the mountain of the Lord as we meet with our God. This is a time for that. This is a time for... Uh, the whole church to arise and every believer has been given a shield of faith it's a shield of his call it's not just a shield of faith it's a shield of his call the way the old knights had their shield and their insignia on it and their spear and god is sending forth the call of god from god's people out into the open now and he is mobilizing his word is mobilizing his voice is mobilizing his people and we have when we were young we gave ourselves to be to the call of God we gave ourselves to be uh, doorkeepers in the house of our God and this is the promise from Psalm 84 verse 10 for a day in your court <clears throat> is better than a thousand outside I would rather stand at the threshold of the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God for the Lord is a sun and a shield. The Lord gives grace and glory. No good things does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. His praise fills the temple and his peace fills my heart. And his glory and his joy he doth wondrously impart. Uh, this is how the Lord is going to do with us in this season. So we will not be thinking COVID, we will not be seeing COVID, we will be seeing the glory of God arising in our call. Every child of God, everyone called of God, taking up the shield of his call. Uh, that's what Psalm 49 says, the shield of his God. God reigns over the nation, God sits on his holy throne. How does God sit on his holy throne? The princes of the people have assembled themselves. Now say, I am a prince of God's people. That's your call. Uh, people, people of the God of Abraham, as the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belongs to God. And that's a territorial claim. The sovereignty of the Lord is distributed into the shield of the Lord that every child of God should carry. And every child of God shall carry that shield. That's how COVID will come down. We have taken this stance that last November when COVID was arising, we said December is the month of Jesus, it is going to come down. And thank God, by the second week of January, COVID was down to the ground. And we have said April is the month of commemoration, uh, reminiscing the crucifixion, celebrating the resurrection. And it, the people might have been foolish, but the Lord's shields are moving out. And we have proclaimed the word of the Lord. And, every, and we are called to be pegs in the holy place of God. That's how a church is formed. Fathers come together in the God's call. Fathers came together and they became pegs in the holy place of God. And, in the, and the pegs was their life. They were willing to be buried into the ground. 
nothing much was visible, but they were growing their roots and they were growing their call. The cords of redemption came out of their life. Their prayers, their witness, uh, their prophecies came out of their life. And then the, the cords of their call captured the canopy of God. A church was born. This is how fathers birthed the church. This is how John Wesley and his group birthed Methodism. This is how William Booth and his people birthed uh, uh, Salvation Army. This is how uh, Hudson Taylor and the pioneers birthed China Inland Mission. This is how every church was birthed. When fathers became pegs in the holy place. Now what is the time? Now it is a time that another generation says, Yes, those shields belong to us also. Every generation have their battle. And we did this at Rephidim. Uh, Moses understood now it is time for the 40 generation to come through. And Joshua came through, praise the Lord. And we are believing at this time a 40 generation, 40 a generation will come through. This is the time when the enemy comes in like a flood tide. There has to be a remnant that arises and raises up the standard of the Lord. <coughs> raises up the banner of the Lord. What does it mean? Raising on the banner of the Lord means that we come under all the promises of the name of God. He is Yahweh Nissi, our banner. We surrender our lives and our thoughts and our ambitions and our daily deeds. We surrender under Yahweh Nissi. And he's Yahweh Rapha, the Lord, our healer. And we surrender our body as a temple of the Holy Ghost. Uh, to be in divine health. And he is Yahweh Ire. In the mountain of the Lord we shall see. So we make the altar in the mountain of the Lord. And we shall see. The provision will come. He will look after Yahweh Ire. So we submit ourselves to every promise of the name of God. This is what it means to be. The Lord is our banner. Victorious banner. So at Rephidim, Moses launched the 40s. And we have come at, uh, to a time like that. And now we are going to look at Judges. Chapter 5 is Deborah's song. Deborah's commentary about what God did against a great and mighty army. But we want to begin at Judges 2 to get the framework, time frame. This is what happened. Judges 2 verse 7. The people served the Lord all the days of Joshua. And all the days of the elders who survived Joshua. This is what God is going to do. Who had seen all the great works of the Lord which he had done for Israel. We have seen all the great works of the Lord all our lifetime. Because he called us young and we are still young uh, to hold the shields of the Lord. As I said, everyone has a shield, the insignia of his call like the old knights, you know. Everyone has a shield and the shield is moving out. And the fathers are saying, give us a little more strength till we help another generation to overcome COVID, global dinosaurs, the global elite, the political plans, all of this. The economic conspiracies that are afoot to take hold of nations and their resources that God will overcome. God will come through. So Judges 2, verse 7, uh, they did the work in their day, the, the, the great work of the Lord which he had done for Israel. Judges 2 verse 8, Then Joshua the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died at the age of 110. And they buried him in the territory of his inheritance in Timnath Heres, in the hill country of Ephraim, north of Mount Gash. <clears throat> All that generation also were gathered to their fathers, and there arose another generation after them who did not know the Lord. So the next generation also served the Lord, but after that, all that generation who served who were gathered, who served the Lord, were gathered to the Father. Then arose a generation who did not know the Lord, nor yet the work which he had done for Israel. That is the gap we are in. And then comes the call of Deborah. Comes the call of Deborah. And she says, what was the problem? Problem was this. The, 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 the battle had come to the gate because they had chosen new gods. Judges chapter 2 verse 8, new gods were chosen. Judges chapter 5 verse 5. Then war was in the gates. Not a shield or a spear was seen. This was a problem. Everyone who is called has a shield and has a spear. For them it was literal, physical. For us it's a call of God. The shield, the insignia. Our, our advance with the Lord our God in our call. Uh, not a shield or a spear was seen. Among 40,000 in Israel. My heart goes out to the commanders of Israel. The volunteers among the people. Bless the Lord. She started blessing the Lord in this dire situation. Sisera had many iron chariots in the valley. But then 
Deborah is arousing the call of God in the people. Deborah is arousing the call of God. Oh, bless the Lord. Then the people of the Lord went down to the gates. Awake, awake, Deborah. There is a famous statement, Judges 5.12. Awake, awake, sing a song. Arise, Barak. She is firing up the man also. And take away your captives, O son of Ahinoam. Then they started coming. Then they heard Deborah's call. They started coming. And from Zebulon, those who wield the staff of office and the princes of Issachar were with Deborah, as was Issachar, so was Barak. Into the valley, they rushed at his heels. That's not a normal thing. People on mountaintops don't rush into the valley. But that was the battle strategy. See what happens. But there were people who did not join. Reuben, there were great resolves of heart. Why did you sit among the sheepfolds uh, to hear the piping of the flocks? <clears throat> Among the divisions of Reuben, there were great searchings of heart. Why? They did not join the battle. They chose to be, uh, they chose to guard their own property. And then Asher did not join the battle. Dan did not join the battle. But Zebulon was a people who risked their lives even to death. Naphtali also on the high places of the field. And they joined the battle. Then what happened? They were charging down. It looked suicidal. Nobody in a mountain place charges down to the enemy in the valley. But what happened was stars fought from heaven. Judges 5.20, from their courses they fought against Sisera. The torrent of Kishon swept them away. Mighty rains came and the valley became a mud, muddy, pudgy field. And all the, uh, the chariots of Sisera drowned, got stuck and Israel had a great victory. So beloved, this is a day for advance. We are not listening to COVID. We are listening to the voice of the glory of God. There is a time every, every child of God, his shield has to be shining. He must be on the advance. May you be encouraged. What's the battle on? There was a generation of fathers who did their battles in their time. Now, to another generation, battles of their time has come. Whether we asked or not, COVID is the battle that is afflicting health, personal lives, each one getting very selfish, looking after themselves only, and economics down, <clears throat> all the global plans to get everybody's health into their hands, everybody's wealth into their hands, every na sovereign nation into their hands, the economies into their hands, that's what is planned. But there is a God above and God has a church below. Let's say together, there's a God above, that's right, there's a God above, and God has his church below. And the king of Zion is enthroned. And the armies of the Lord are ready. That's the time we are. Another generation taking up the shields of the Lord and getting ready for the advance. Be encouraged. Get ready for the advance. Every day, every hour hearing the word of Christ. Faith comes by hearing and hearing comes by the hearing the word of Christ. And today we also got Psalm 33. Wonderful Psalm. These are psalms that come in our morning reading and they align one after the other, one after the other in battle formation, one after the other in battle formation. Because these are word of the Lord that comes as a shield, word of the Lord that comes as the spirit of the Lord, word of the Lord that comes as a sword of the Lord, one after the other. Our God is a God of battle. You must understand that. And April is the month that we are defeating COVID. And in the month of May, we are going to see the victory as it's a month of the Holy Spirit. It's a month that God chose to send the Holy Spirit for the baptism of the Holy Spirit and to baptize God's people into one body. So don't divide. Don't get into your selfish corners and only looking after yourself in fear. Get, come together and be the pigs in his holy place. That's your call. That's from Isaiah 30. Pigs in your holy place. That's God's call for us. And God will bring his canopy. Let there be a canopy. Stretch forth in this place a tent for the glory of God. That's the call. A tent for the glory of God. And we are seeing the virtues of Christ more than the wiles of COVID. We are going to see the virtues of Christ. And those of our, our relatives who have not yet considered Christ, they are going to hear Christ in the fears of COVID. God bless us. God help us to be a blessing. And Psalm 33, in conclusion, has these words for us. Yes, by the word of the Lord, God has a new song. God has a new song. 
Council of the st Lord stands forever. Psalm 33, verse 11. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart from generation to generation. We are calling another generation. Plans of his heart from generation to generation. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. That's us. The Lord looks down from heaven. He sees all the sons of men. From his dwelling place, he looks out on all the inhabitants of the earth. What for? To fashion our hearts. To give us understanding of his works. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is the time. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him. Psalm 33, 18. Take it literally. Take it physically. The eye of the Lord is on those who fear him. Psalm 33, 18. To deliver on those who hope for his loving kindness. To deliver their soul from death. And to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart rejoices in him because we trust in his holy name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you.